then there was another transformation. Uh, things taking somewhat new shapes, really. Uh, this phobic thing, or uh, phobias related to intoxications or contaminations. Uh, instead, took more social expressions. Was this or that guy making uh, funny faces as soon as she could say something, and people um, were uh, joking about her. They were thinking things about her. They had attitudes towards her. And, uh, yeah, in this case, f friends of mine, acquaintances, relatives, and, well, you do actually try and explain that this thing, this expression, is nothing specific, it's not something that, that it does because he, he, there is something that he doesn't like or no ah you might be right I'm just uh, paranoid I'm just uh, anxious wound up but more and more became because at the start, as with these phobias, you were supposed to talk her out of things, which was the case with in those social situations too. But it became harder and harder convincing her. You can't say that you did not notice this. Or are you completely unaware? Uh, either you are completely unaware about such obvious things or you're evil. You do notice, but you do not care. Uh, or perhaps you're actually part of this. <laughs> and why would I? Yeah, because you actually you only see me as a tool for uh, taking the next step in your own life, something like that. Stepping stone. And in this situation, what's your reaction? I know some people will say that, but in that case, why didn't you walk out of the whole situation? Uh, he must have realized that something was weird. Well, yes, something was weird, but... <sighs> really, I... If there is uh, some kind of mental health issue, this in itself is not reason for walking out someone. You will probably do what you can to get things under some kind of control. And uh, you also blame yourself. Uh, I have been like cold or um, unaware not really sensitive and I should actually become better at expressing this kind of things and I know that 
she does have other sides and I have actually seen them too and this means that they are somewhere within her and they might come to express them again but for some reason I uh, have not earned her trust and I perhaps need to become better at doing some things um, giving positive feedback observing and acknowledging good things and good traits point out but I do appreciate it. And sooner or later, she will probably understand that I am no threat and I do not intend to do anything bad against her. It's just that you have already shown her that you are not reliable, you are not trustable. Because uh, you defended these guys, apparently <laughs> making her appear as a fool. You didn't care about that, even though it was so obvious. You even deny this. So, therefore, I have no reason to believe in any of these things that you tell me. So, why are you telling me these things? This you do in order to hook me up into something or make me dependent or make me trust you. It's manipulation. Yeah, and how would you handle this? Because still, there is this demand. She expects you to confirm her, but you always do it the wrong way. And more than anything, you don't seriously mean anything of this. You're only doing it to please her so that she won't please me. Uh, so you try a little harder and the paradox is that the harder you try the deeper you will cut these scores uh, that you're actually walking into yourself uh, because even more lies there's no end to this and I may actually mention that these nice things uh, my attempts of being kind or making her feel some, some kind of trust against me towards me I'm still paying this off uh, to this day because once proven that nothing is what I actually say uh, you might expect that everything is the complete opposite so every time I say something I prove that I'm a liar because everything I say is a lie and not saying anything is hiding something this is grounded into this and has actually me quite some serious trouble 
because it may not getting in charge of myself and thereby becomes a problem for uh, normal decent humans and has forced her into taking action and having others informed about this problem of mine it's not these problems of mine or even problems of mine it's this problem which is me uh, it's not about having problems it comes to a point where you're not only the cause of problems you are not a problem but the problem and this is evolution slowly advancing in this direction and there is another thing about this and I will return to that